it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I know I'm looking crazy. I've already done my face and today's video to talk about the title. We are going to be talking about the Elf Bite Sized Shadow. Um, they basically come with four shades so you could do like your typical eye look or you could do a lot with. And I really wanted to try this one out. This is the Ha Jalapeno palette. I just thought it was so pretty. The greens were so cute and I plan on wearing green today. So I was like, let's try it out. So if you guys want to see um, kind of what I come up with with this and how I'm feeling about it because I don't know. I think the color scheme is cute. Um, but if you guys want to see how well this performs or how well it doesn't perform on the eyes, then please keep watching. I'm really taking a risk here by using this like right before work. Like trying out a new product before work, but like, whatever. So these retail for $3, which I think is great. I was thinking about this last night and I remember e.l.f. used to have, and I'm sure they still have it, I don't know. They used to have like this four pack of eyeshadow, like little... A little small component and I had like eyeshadows in it and it would be like lid base crease whatever um, so I was wondering if this was like a newer version of that because I believe it had three to four shades in it with a small little brush where this has four shades no brush but you know I just wanted I was thinking about that it reminded me of that elf has been my girl for years so um, I'm gonna start out with this shade right here which is there's two shimmers two mattes so I'm gonna go with the first matte which is a lighter green and I think I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush and I'm gonna apply that right into my crease my eye lids are already primed I did use the Maybelline fit me concealer if you guys wanted to know so that's it I also was setting my under eyes and I just wanted to make sure if there was any fallout that it would just wipe away because I don't have time to redo this face. Oh, so far I'm liking the shade. Oh my god, this is a really pretty green. Let me zoom y'all in. This is a really pretty green shade. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Wow, that is so, that is blending out so nicely in my crease. There's no fallout, no fallout. You would see it under here because I do have setting powder. There's no fallout right now. So that's good. Elf shadows always scared me because I don't know, I was just like, I have their opposite to tracked eyeshadow palette, but when it comes to like their smaller palettes, I'm like, I don't know. But so far this is going well. All right, so this is the first shade down. Like I said, this is the third shade in the palette, the first matte. And I have to say, I'm obsessed. It's not patchy, it blended out nicely, and I even like how diffused it looks. It doesn't look too crazy. I'm actually kind of shook. Okay, I'm gonna take this more dense brush and I'm gonna take the deeper green, which is the second matte, the last shade in this palette, and I want to apply that to the outer corners this is like an army green this shade kind of scares me oh the pigment now there was definitely fallout with that one but the pigment I don't mind if a shadow is pigmented and it's going on my eye nicely I don't mind a little bit of fallout honestly um, as long as I have my powder underneath I don't mind oh my gosh you guys Wait a damn minute. I'm gonna go back in with that first mat to blend them together. Oh my god, this is so pretty. This is so nice. I knew the color looked deep in the pan, but I really didn't expect it to transfer as deep onto my eye if I'm being real. I just thought that it was gonna be like a little bit darker than the crease shade, but this is gorgeous. This is such a pretty like army green as you would call it i'm not too sure i would call it army green i should say wow wow this is beautiful i'm actually shocked but not really i know elf has great products like i love elf i use elf i use elf in every single video of mine literally but um this is this is wow Doing the same thing that I did before, going back in with the first matte on that same 
JH30 brush and just diffusing everything and making sure everything looks good. I did drag it out a little bit too much on this second eye, so I have to match it. This eye. But are y'all seeing how this is looking? Even the colors like blending in together. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm quite shook. This is beautiful. Greens scare me on the eye, but I think that this palette is should be comfortable enough even for people who aren't familiar with using colors like on their eye besides like your browns or whatever whatever is your comfort zone because it gives you the specific shades and you would assume that they would work together and they do and I am shook. I really want to keep adding in the lighter green matte to just make sure everything's blended out and I do want some distinction between the lighter matte and the deeper matte. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm kind of just adding the third shade in the bite size eyeshadow palette and kind of doing like that. I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 25 medium. I'm going to put that on the back of my hand a bit. And I think I'm going to do like a halo-ish eye because that's where I feel like this look is taking me. I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics 105 brush. I'm going to take the concealer and I'm just going to apply it like to the middle of my eye. Like so. Guys, I'm so shook at the way this is coming out. Like, these shadows look amazing on the eye, like I, I must say. So, in this bite size palette, we do have a nice like gold that does have a hint of green in my opinion, and then like a literally like light green gold. I'm gonna go in with the second shimmer, which is like the more green shimmer, and I'm gonna apply that where I put this concealer. Wow. Wow, good call. Great call. Wow. This is so pretty. Oh my god. There is kickback in the pan, but like I said, I don't mind a little bit of kickback, if any, because if it comes out pigmented, then I'm okay with it, you know? But if the shadow doesn't perform well and there's kickback, like, what's the point of it? Oh my god, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to take this more dense brush. It's the JH... It's the JH33, and I'm going to take the lighter green shade. And I just want to apply it right next to the shimmer to make sure it's blended in nicely. Uh, just around its edges and everything. This is gorgeous. Like, I'm so shocked. This is so gorgeous. And, like, you don't need to dip into other palettes. You can if you obviously want to, but you don't have to. You have everything in this mini palette. And I think that is so cute and, like, so good. Um, I'm going to add a wing liner. I'm going to finish up. You know what? I'll do that on camera. I'm going to use the e.l.f. wing liner anyways, so. You guys, this is gorgeous. Oh my god. Like, this is a little bit, like, out of my element, like, when it comes to the greens. But the fact that the palette kind of had everything that I needed really helped me feel comfortable in working with them. And I really like that. So I do want to wipe off my under eyes because I'm a bit scared. Because even though I do have powder, under, like, underneath that I can wipe off and there's a bit of fallout, I get scared that it's just going to mess it up. So, <gasps> that went away so nicely. Okay. I'm going to finish off the eyes. So I kind of do want to take the lighter green. I'm going to take it on that same JH33 brush. And I want to run that across my lower lash line. Just a bit. I don't do this often, but sometimes I feel like when I work with colors, I feel like it ties a look in together more. I need a more dense brush for this. 
much better. And then I'm going to take the deeper shade and do the same. Oh, I'm, hold on, I got eyeshadow on my eye, hold on. I'm going to use a clean blending brush and just blend out the lower lash line so it's not looking too crazy. Pretty. And then last but not least is my inner corner. So I'm going to just take that gold shade. I was going to use it on my lid, but I was like, I think this would be like such a pretty inner corner highlight. So we're going to see. I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics brush. It's the 106 brush to do that. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to, oh, yep. Mm -hmm. I was correct. Yes. This entire eye look, okay. First of all, do you see how pigmented this gold is? Oh my god. No, this is insane. This is one of the most pigmented golds I've ever came across. Whoa. You literally have such a pretty eye look and things that you can, like, different things that you can do with it in one palette. Like, imagine. I think that this is also a really good palette if you are starters, especially in working with color. Like for me, I know that there are different colors and I think that I'm going to grab them as well because I do like this. I will share my final thoughts when the video is done. But, you know, because it has the basics in there that you would need to create any type of like intense look or even a natural look, I really like that. So I think that I'm going to be purchasing the other shades to kind of practice on how to work with color because for me it's a little difficult to work with color even with greens like i was always scared but right now i'm i'm feeling it so i'm gonna go finish my face and finish everything i may add lashes i don't know i'm a little lazy but i'm gonna finish everything finish off my hair and i'm gonna come back to you guys with my final thoughts on the elf bite size eyeshadow Okay, so I finished my face, I finished my eyes, and now I'm here to tell you guys my final thoughts. So, the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow I think is such a win, a hit. Um, this is $3, you get four shadows, and you can get at least three looks from this, you know? And I think it's really beginner friendly as well and also professional friendly. I mean, the shadows are great. Now, there was kickback, um, especially with the deeper shade but i think that's normal when it comes to deeper shades it can be a bit that can have more fallout more pigmented um but as long as you have powder underneath your eyes you know that you just put on so that you can wipe away afterwards you're perfectly fine i have nothing left on my face from that and i am quite shocked this was three dollars okay three dollars for this cute eyeshadow palette with a great color scheme and they have so many more I think it's a great palette. I think it's great even for makeup artists to use, but especially beginners. And even if you know what you're doing, anybody can use these palettes and you can create multiple looks with them. And I really, really love that. I'm obsessed. I can't stop looking at my makeup, actually. Um, I'm obsessed with the way that this looks. So I'm pleasantly surprised. This is definitely a win, a hit, whatever I'll be saying. I forgot right now. Um, but I really do think if you guys can, you guys should go and check this palette out and the different colors i'm now interested in more colors i just liked this color scheme and oh i'm obsessed like the gold that's in my inner corners it's i'm shook you guys let me know what you guys think down below if you guys have tried these out and if you like them or not and why or why not um and also if you like this look that i created don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below you know it's good to have some feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know if there's any products that you guys would want me to try out. I do have some more videos coming out on some Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited because those palettes are bomb. But let me know. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!